Okay, greetings everyone and welcome to episode 4. Uh, it's a new day for me, so I'm just sort of getting my head going here. Um, I had a thought while I was coming home today. Um, in the last episode, we had a pirate come in and attempt to take a mining station that was on here. Um, it then went over, started shooting at something else, and then came back and destroyed that station. So what I think has happened is they tried to board it. My boarding strength was too much. We actually fought off the boarding attempt. So they actually just came back and destroyed the base. So what that's telling me is... Uh, is that a gas? No, it was just a mining station. Um, what that's telling me is I'm doing good in this regard by putting those uh, extra couple HAB, HAB modules on. I think is helping. So I'm almost to the point where I'm believing that this is doing some good. So I might just go with a rule of thumb of doing like a, a 10 or 20 percent bump on these, uh, depending on the design, of course. But uh, making sure I keep this number up. So I think that's kind of proof that that is actually working for me. Uh, of course, later game we'll have to add more and more and more just to keep that uh, defense up. But uh, that, that's a good sign. I like that. So I, that was just a thought I had while I was coming home today, and just uh, thought I'd explain that for a bit. Um, and one other thing, this pirate ran into... What was that? That was you guys, wasn't it? Yeah, I was looking at this la uh, last time, and Military Ships 5, but they've also got Control Colonies 5. So what that's telling me, because they have to have a ship around their colony at, at, at this point in the game. I don't think they've had enough time to actually establish bases and stuff. So that's telling me that they have five ships around five colonies, which is the bulk, which is all their in, uh, all their uh, military inventory. Um, I'm just speculating, of course, but uh, to me, that's almost what it's looking like, because you need a ship around in orbit to k take control of the colony. Uh, if you take the ship away, you don't control the colony anymore. So that's almost telling me that they have five ships tied up just controlling colonies. So that was just a quick thought. Um, I do want to cancel this agreement here shortly, but uh, like I think I'm just going to wait till I get warp warp uh, core because uh, or warp uh, bubbles because we're at 63%. So I might as well wait it out. I'm not broke. I'm making money, so it's not a huge issue this game. Normally I'm in the red and I'm desperate to get that. Uh, Oops, I'm desperate to get this 10 grand back. So I usually cancel this order, uh, this uh, protection deal early, just to get that money back. But uh, in this case, I don't think I'm going to have to. I think I can wait it out to warp cores. So we'll get warp cores. That way, if they come in and start causing trouble again, we can quickly go over and eliminate them. Well, quicker than we can right now, anyways. Um, they, they still have superior hyperdrives and everything, but at least we'll have a chance of getting there to intercept uh, the problem. Okay, and I think last episode, i uh, just double check on this. Yes, we got these two things completed now. Uh, these are happiness bonuses we can stick on our spaceports. So we're going to go do that now. Uh, we're just going to do a quick revision on our spaceports. Um, spaceports, thank you, or space bases. Um, okay, so mainly upgrade. I'm going to leave these as a Mark II, but I'm just going to call them a Revision A. Okay, so and we're gonna let's sort this the way I like it. And we're gonna put a medical center and a rec center. So we got medical 100 now and recreation 100. Uh, I think that gives us plus seven happiness altogether when we put them on the bases. Okay, so we'll uh, just quickly do the other two here without saying too much more about it. Medical, recreation, Ooh, need another life support, which means we'll need another HAB module as well. Uh, how'd we do here? Yeah, we got 11, we got two extras, we're at 208, wow. There's something else must be, uh, 13, I'm not sure, what was it? Uh, I can't remember what one of these provides now. Um, yeah, I don't know, um, yeah. Anyways, we're good. I'll have to look that up later. Okay, so that's that one done. And... Revision A. Medical and Recreation. 
Okay, and save. So that's all we needed to do here. So let's go retrofit that base. Oops. No, 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 no. Spaceport, thank you. And retrofit to a... It will stay small for now. Uh, once I get uh, warp core or warp bubbles and everything, I'll, uh, I'll probably bump that up to a large. Just have the, the extra spaceports to build ships in. So that's done. Okay, so uh, let's carry on. It's almost feeling like this is running a wee bit better today, and there is a reason for it. I've shut off my virus scanner. So I think that's helping a lot because there's a lot of reading and writing to the disk going on while we're doing this. So I think uh, I think disabling the virus scanner. I've disconnected myself from the internet for the duration, but I think having the I'm going to pause it here for a sec. I think having the virus scanner shut off has actually helped because I'm uh, I'm actually zooming pretty good here. Yep. So yeah, just a bit of overhead I got rid of. So uh, hopefully this will work out for us. Uh, I got two construction ships ready. So. Uh, we only got a few places left to do, I think, and I think that's one of them. So let's just go ahead and build a gas miner there. And so we did everything there. What else we got around here? Uh, I think we need to do this one yet. Or that's that's. I'm gonna come over and try to capture that. I was thinking I was just gonna destroy it, but I might as well try and capture it. Okay, well let's build a gas miner here. Okay. And we'll carry on. Um, yes, yeah, so we're short or still short an intelligence agent. So we can't do any more espionage. Oh, let's sort that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this guy, I should almost get him to a weapon station, but I'm kind of liking the energy boost he's giving. We'll leave him there for the moment. Get those warp cores done. Maybe I'll flip them over to uh, the energy side after that. Sort of enhance that a bit. So yeah, we're getting close. We're 66% of the way to, uh, to warp bubbles. And it looks like I'm going to have most of the mining in here complete by the time I get it. And you still got these things down here. Doesn't look like any mining ships are coming for this asteroid field anyway, so probably not a huge issue at the moment. Unless they've killed all my uh, mining ships. Let's just have a quick look here. Mining ships. No, nope, we've still got a fair few. And one without a mission, so... Okay, so that's not too bad. Usually the first thing the mining ships do is go to the, ast go to the asteroid. Maybe there's nothing in the asteroids worth mining, so that's probably why they're neglecting it right now. I don't know if we can have a quick look here. It's kind of hard to mouse over all these trying to find a resource. I'm not seeing anything just off the top of my head here, so... That might be what it is. There's nothing worth mining, so the mining ships aren't even bothering with it. And there is a slight problem with the uh, asteroids winking in and out. Um, hmm. Oh well. I know they're there. It's awful quiet suddenly. Where are these pirates? I shouldn't complain, I guess. So they've got two mining stations in here. That's the one I thought I was looking at earlier, but yeah, they got two in here. Let me get warp cores, and then bring your constructor back in here for another one. Go for it. We'll see how far you get with that. Oh, and I forgot to start my timer again. Hang on. So it would have been doing about five minutes-ish. Okay. And construction ship done. So, what are we left with? We did that, we did that one there. Uh, I think we got this stuff here to do yet, so... Alright, get some more steel. I 
once I get warp uh, warp bubbles, I'll uh, build some more constructors. Now, I wonder if I can. Uh, it's still pretty far away. I don't think I'll be able to rush. I might be able to rush boarding though. For twenty-eight thousand, sure. Just out of curiosity. Oh, we can do it. That's most of my money, though, but go for it. There. So we got a crash program going on that, so that'll be done quicker. Yeah, year 13, yeah, probably be out year 15 by the time I get warp cores. So that's, uh, I'm, I'm averaging about year 10 to get warp cores, if I don't lose my intelligent guys. Uh, this I lost them this time, so it's taking a little longer to get there. But try to utilize your uh, intelligence agents against the pirates right off the bat, and that way you can get some good information about what's around you. we got that explorer still in here. Oh, well, these are finishing fast. Okay, we are at 4x speed still, so that's probably why. Okay, uh, get some gases. Yeah, we're almost done mining in here. And there we go. So we got uh, shipboarding now. Um, hmm. I should look at some better weaponry. The, these won't be ready for... The, the retrofit I'm planning to do here shortly, but they'll be ready for the next one, so we'll just enhance or get the next level on these. Uh, it's not like before where you built these and you could just enhance them, uh, because these are these are more primitive, so they have to be upgraded. These are seeking missiles. We go to concussion missiles, so it's a completely different kind of missile. It has to be retrofitted. Uh, once we get that and go to here, then it's just an improvement, so you don't need to retrof retrofit improvements. So, okay, um, I better get something on behind this. What are we going to do? I guess I better go... Wow. That's the thing about uh, pre-warp, is you need everything. <laughs> it's a really hard decision on what to go for first. Okay, we'll go for enhanced construction, get bit bigger ships here. Size 300 will be perfect. And colonization is going to take a while, so don't worry about that tree for now. Okay, so, and money just keeps climbing, that's good to see. Oh, this money does. That just dropped a bit. Okay, let's have a look at our resources now. Okay, uh, sort by type, strategic. So, we, all our zeros are going away. I uh, usually end up with one or two that I... Oh! Wow, I got them all. There's usually one or two I have to go out of system for, but it looks like we got lucky and got all the strategics in my home system. That is awesome. Perfect. Okay, well, once we get out and about, we'll concentrate on some luxuries right away. Uh, fuel first, of course, but uh, then we'll go for some luxuries. And we'll see how we go. Okay, 90%. We're almost there. I should probably make it before 2115. Okay. What are you guys doing? Still trying to refuel. You know what? I might just actually quickly. Uh, I'm just going to upgrade this quickly and not a Mark II. We'll just go over Vision A. I want to throw a couple of these on. What size is that? 157. What can we build now? 230, I think. Okay, actually, we'll just go check that. Yeah, 230. So, 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is throw one, two, is that 84? 126. I'll throw three assault pods on this. And pulse blasters are good, so they'll be able to take down any shields. You don't want to put rail guns on the same ship you have assault pods, because the rail guns will skip the shields, damage the ship, and uh, your assault pods, by the time they get there, the ship will be half damaged. And so it's a good, good idea to have weapons that will deplete the uh, shields. Speaking of shields, maybe I should put some on this. <coughs> Yeah, maybe I will. We've got the space, why not? And go three. And do 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 have and life support. Okay, so I'll put two more have modules on. There. Um I wouldn't mind another fuel cell to get over there with. That's not going to take me far what's there. So we'll put one. I'll have to take some stuff off, I guess. 275 is pretty good. Uh, so if I got to lose 10, so we'll take a shield off. Okay, we got a defense strength of 222 and a boarding assault of 126. So that should be alright. So let's save that. And we will go build. How many do you think I need here? Yeah, I'll build. Yeah, I get three of them and we'll put them in a fleet. So we come down to fleet or military ships. And we will throw those into a fleet. A new fleet. Uh you guys should be oh no, you're the first fleet. Right. Okay. All right. So what we'll use those for is to maybe come over and steal these two uh, mining stations. That way I won't have to build them. And we'll get to check out how the boarding works. eventually and there we go hyperspace technology discovered using the ancient knowledge recovered at our earlier exploration we have developed our first primitive hyperdrive this breakthrough technology allows the starships to travel faster than light and monumentous discovery blah 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 and we're going to leave our own solar system and because of this discovery, our pop, um, the resolve of our population, uh, galvanized the resolve of our population, providing a short-term boost to our economy, which is always good. Okay. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna have to retrofit those right away when they when they're finished building. So okay, so we're gonna come in and start putting warp engines on everything. So I think we're at about 15 minutes. So I guess we got time to do this. So. We will start and mainly upgrade. So this will just be a mark two. We'll take the revision A out. And we already got shields and stuff, so let's just go with A. Now we put one warp bubble generator on. Okay. Uh, our current uh, output only allows us to go 1,272 in hyperdrive. Uh, the max is 2,000, so it means we need another reactor. Two more, actually, but do I want to waste 18? Well, these are small ships. Do I want to waste 18 space for what? 31 extra speed. Escorts are generally used for defense of planets. They don't really go far. Uh, want to keep them fairly cheap too. So another reactor would probably bump that up. How much? Yeah, plus I'll have to put that stuff on now, so maybe we'll just leave it at that. It's a little shy, but uh, we'll uh, we'll save the maintenance fees and without doing that. Because basically these are just going to be es uh, patrolling uh, mining stations, escorting other ships. And 
And I think right now our private sector, when we retrofit that, we're not going to get a whole lot more hyperdrives on them anyways. So, so I don't worry about hitting the 2000 that closely. It's probably a good idea, but I don't bother. And I think while I'm in here, I'm going to add a couple of missiles to this thing. And a Graviton beam. It's a good all-around all kind of ship. I do need some more fuel cells. 220. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Um, hmm. What do I lose? Alright, I'll take one missile off. I still need that stuff, so that's fine. Ah, one. Okay, take an armor for that. Okay, we got 64 boarding strength. I would like a little bit more if I could do that. Yeah, of course. So now we got to reclaim four. Hmm. Well, maybe the graviton beam isn't a good idea. Yeah, I'll put that on a bigger ship, maybe. Okay, so that reclaims our space to put the Seeker back on. And we'll put the shields back on. Or armor. Yeah, we'll go to uh, 100 armor. 96. Yeah, that should be good enough. We'll upgrade it again later. Okay, so there's ship. Oh, yeah, it's dropped to 1909. Oh. Okay, well, whatever. I don't really worry too much about this till I get the next level of hyperdrive, and then you, know, you get to the 12500, so... This is just an interim, uh, get you started type of warp drive. I, I don't worry about wrapping the design around them too heavily. Okay, so... Upgrade this. This one doesn't have this yet. So we put that. Three shields. Uh... Uh, belief support. Now I still gotta put these things on. Ten. Okay, so there, this one will have our 2000. And this one's full of pulse blasters. I kind of saved my frigates for a missile ship. So we're gonna pull the pulse blasters off. I'll put some seekers on. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Uh, well, where do we go from here? We go down to 1939, so I might do that. And it still leaves us a bit more room to maybe throw one more of those on. And maybe a couple of hab modules. And I need fuel. Oh, I should have did that first. Okay. Try 275. Oh, 12. Well, considering it's a seek, uh, missile ship, it's going to sit back a bit. It's not going to be too close, hopefully. So, maybe I'll do that and that. Oh. Oh, 38. Oh. I don't want to lose all the armor. All right, I'll put uh, two armor back on. Okay, so a little shy on shields, but that's okay. But we got 96 uh, boarding strength defense, lots of missiles, lots of power. So it looks like we're good to go on that. 1909, but oh well, for speed. Okay, um, I might just leave this one as is, as far as, uh, oh, I gotta put the warp bubble on it, though. Yeah, this is gonna get uh, a little bit over, I think. Oop, not like that. Uh, actually, eh, gotta take ten off. I've already done shields. I'll take one pulse blaster, two, two pulse blasters. Hmm. All right. And we'll take two of these. Uh, OK, 
Okay, that's fine. And again, we're a bit shy, but I'm not going to worry about that a little bit. We need a bit bigger ship to actually handle all this, but I'm not going to wait for that. Okay, so exploration ship. We'll give you some shielding and armor now. Just They're just going to run away as soon as they find somebody anyways. And, uh, keeping them cheap, if they get killed, oh well, you just build another one, right? Okay, so we need... Ooh... Yeah, we want this one nice and quick, but, eh, I guess that's not happening. Okay, life, hab. What are we doing? Did I increase my hab support? No. Well, who cares if a, <laughs> who cares if an explorer gets taken over, really? I'm not going to worry about it, so I'm not going to hop up the habs on these. Uh, 330 fuel, I think I'm going to hop that up, maybe one, maybe, yeah, just one, I guess. It's not going to get far. Uh, these uh, hyperdrive or warp bubble generators uh, take a lot of fuel, so you don't get far. Uh, I might only be building one, I don't know, we'll see. So, and our explorer, or construction ship, which also needs... Shields. All right, warp bubble. Uh, two reactors. Life. Hab. Um. I think that's all I'm going to do with that. That's fine. And. Okay, now, private ships. We definitely want uh, hyperdrives on these. Uh, you generally don't worry about shields or anything right now. The size just isn't there yet, so... Uh, we'll just try and get this on as the best we can. Ooh, I hit 2,000. What's going on here? 148. Oh, this is a small. Yeah. Okay, I'm... Maybe we'll put just a bit of shield on it, or armor and shields. I got the room. But it's going to be more expensive, but they'll be protected. Alright, do it. Uh, half modules. I wonder if I should do my trick on uh, the private sector ships as well. I'll put one more. I don't know whether they bother uh, taking those or not, but, eh, we'll see. Okay, I'll uh, just try and do this quickly here, so I don't blab on too much about it. 2,000, oh. Freighter. Now this one I generally oh, I'll put the warp bubble on first. I sometimes have trouble fitting everything on the large freighter. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're over by one, but I still got to put this stuff on. Over by four. Um, pulse blaster. All right, get rid of that. Okay, that's going to have to do. Okay, luxury liner. Uh, you're a good size, so we'll put that stuff on as well. More bubble. Reactors. Passenger ship. Alright, let's put this stuff on. Okay. No, nope, I'll just leave that. That's good enough. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Now I'm still gonna put this stuff on. And more life. And hub. 80. Okay, that one's done. Actually, I usually, I'm going to hop up the capacity on this cargo. Put maybe two more of those on. Yeah, make them a little more uh, efficient on, bring, on bringing quantity back rather than a bunch of trips. I have a feeling fuel is going to be an issue with these guys, but, uh, hmm. Okay, so everybody's got warp drives now. So, now we just got to retrofit everybody. But just before I do that, I'm going to wait for these three to be finished, and then I'll retrofit them quickly to go do that, and then I'll issue the retro order for everybody else because I want to get over and get these okay so I'm going to order you to retrofit okay so Alright, so there's our second fleet that we just built, so I'm just going to um, retrofit. Hopefully you guys got back in there before the queues filled up. And actually I think I will. Yeah, that's not bad. I am going... Okay, once all this stuff is done, I am going to do something. Okay, one of our ships uh, has engaged its hyperdrive and allowing us to travel faster than light for the very first time. We are officially uh, leaving the Age of Shadows behind us. Well, eventually. Okay, now, we are also receiving reports that at this time of this hyperjump, unusual sensor readings were reported at Daguba De, 5. Okay, so what is that? Let's just pause this for a sec. Daguba 5. Right there. Oh no. Kelters! They're going to come out and munch on all my stuff. Okay, well, I think, I think, I think, I think I better get some ships over there. Okay, I think um, this fleet just uh, had its priorities changed. Okay, retrofitting, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, okay, so I think at this point in the game, I'm going to slow this down. Go back to regular speed. Go, go, get him, get him, get him. Oh, we're going to take some damage. Uh-oh. Okay. So we're down one ship. But that'll keep him busy for a moment. While the rest of them get over here. Yeah, here comes another one now. Oh, more action. Oh no, what's going on here? Uh, okay, they must have tried to uh, raid this planet. Maybe. They're not getting very far.
Okay, good. So I'll pause that for a sec. How do we make it over here? Still shooting Kelters. Kill him. Thirty percent. Yeah, it should do it. I'm gonna have to get this thing repaired though. Alright, go repair and then we'll go do the mining stations, I guess. So that's the end of the threat here. I'm gonna have to rebuild this. But only lost one mining station, so they could have crawled out and got all these if I didn't react quickly. Okay. So these guys are gonna come back and uh repair. And I'm guessing we're probably getting pretty close to the end of our half hour here. Uh, I got 26 minutes on the clock and I was late starting that. So I think we're probably just about done with this episode. So uh, we got warp drives and we are now able to leave our system. Now we can come out here and have a boot around. So very cool. 14 game years to do it. So, that's certainly not my best time, but, uh, not bad. So, th the game will start running a bit better now that we're just going to be, uh, running at regular speed, so. Um. Yeah, I can sort of see it sort of, uh, being a bit better now, so. Yeah, I think that was a trick, is uh, getting rid of that virus scanner. It was probably scanning everything like three times. Okay, uh, let's just have a quick look here. See if we got any more achievements. No, just peace still. Let's check our victory conditions. Okay, so we have the least time at war. Okay, that's probably going to change, I'm sure. Um... Okay, so it's a start. Uh, we're certainly nowhere near it, but... Uh, yeah, well, good episode. We got, out of, we got our warp drives done, so we'll come back uh, next next episode and we'll get everybody else retrofitted and we'll start uh, pounding out some, uh, some uh, ships to defend ourselves with and go we'll do some attacks and we'll retrofit our uh, large spaceport or to a large spaceport so we get 12 construction yards to work with and we'll watch my money sink into the red it's <laughs> basically what happens there so once again thanks for joining me and we'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching